Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. So thankful for you. Welcome to those who are new listeners. Um, Just for a point of information, what I do here on Pray Every Day is, of course, I pray every day. That makes sense. Um, But also, uh, I read a scripture and then I pray you through it. Pretty soon, we're going through the scriptures that are in the book, We Too, How the Church Can Respond Redemptively to the Sexual Abuse Crisis. But um, pretty soon we'll be going through another book of the Bible, and I'm really excited about that as well. So stay tuned for that. Today we are in Revelation 21, verses 22 and 25. And yesterday we talked about the new heavens and the new earth as described in Isaiah 60. So today we're going to jump way forward to the end of the book and um, to the end of the Bible and read what's going to happen there. So here we go. In the HCSB it says this, I did not see a sanctuary in it because the Lord God Almighty, the Almighty and the Lamb are its sanctuary. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it because God's glory illuminates it and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk in its light and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Each day its gates will never close because it will never be night there. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, again, as I prayed yesterday, help us to have this kind of imagination of what could be. Um, We can look back into the Garden of Eden and see what that may have been like, or we can look forward to uh, what is written in the book of Revelation and see uh, just all of that. And I know that's a hard book, but um, it promises that we will receive a blessing if we read it. And so, Lord, help us to to get to the end of the book and to read about what will happen at the end of all time. I myself cannot conceive of a time where there's no time. (laughs) It's hard for me. I'm very uh, schedule oriented. So uh, that probably will be really a a blessing. Um, Lord, uh, thank you that you will be the light in the sanctuary, that you, uh, there will be no need for sun or moon, that you will be that light. You will be the lamp. And uh, thank you that we will all worship together. It will be an amazing thing. The thing I wanted to camp on today was something that I walked through a lot in my childhood and and still do now as an adult, but less so. And it was this fear of the night or fear of darkness. And I I remember, Lord, just the terror that I had, especially when I was left alone as a little kid. And I would look outside and, and... I would hear noises and I was constantly terrified of the night. I also was constantly terrified that I was being chased by people and I would have these nightmares that that enemies of some sort would be chasing me and I, I, I would never you know, be able to outrun them. And um, Lord, all of these things, they, they tie back to my sexual abuse at five and just the sheer terror that I felt because as a little kid, there really were no adults to protect me. There really were no people to intervene. And so there was no one there to say, it's just the night, the day will come in the morning. That noise is the air conditioner kicking on, you know, just those those kind of things, Lord. And so um, I think that uh, it's taken me a long time to get through that. And I pray for my friend today listening who has these kinds of fears. It may not be fear of the nighttime, um, it could be other fears. I know for me, I startle really easily, so I've, I'm worried about uh, you know that happening to me in public, which happens to me a lot. But Lord, um, would you carry the burdens of those who have these kinds of fears? Uh, I know that there's no fear in love, and perfect love casts out fear, but we're, we still live on this earth, and we still struggle with the aftermath of things that have happened to us. Or just childhood things that maybe are benign, but um, we assign some importance to them. And so, Lord, um, would you begin to crack open uh, maybe some of those broken parts of us and heal them um, so that we could come to you and um, and just let you speak over our story um, to write a new story, to restory us Um, to be from one who is afraid of the dark to someone who is emboldened by the Holy Spirit. 
Uh, I know that there are fears that keep us from leaving our homes. There are fears that keep us from doing adventures. There's fears that prevent us from living life. And Lord, we just want to be delivered from them. And I ask your spirit would deliver my friend from any of those hidden fears and even of those non-hidden fears, Lord. Um, I, I know I can't deliver myself. And so I trust that you will deliver me and you will deliver those listening to this prayer today from those things that hold them back from just really deeply and joyfully engaging in life. I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to pray every day. Uh, so grateful you're here and I'm, I'm humbled that you would take the time to be prayed for. Uh, if you want to help the uh, podcast at all, you can leave a little review on iTunes or Stitcher. It just helps more people find the podcast. And to those of you who've already done that, huge thank you and a hug from afar. Have a great day.